Can I talk about something? If a woman was to run outside naked in front of people, how many people would look? Even for just one second, perhaps 90% of people would do that, right? Why? Because it is abnormal for a woman to run outside naked, right? What if a man was to run outside naked? How many people would look, even for a quick second, just to see what is going on? Like, is this person really running outside naked? Perhaps 90% or everyone. Why? Because it is abnormal for a person to run outside naked. It is weird, right? It is not because the woman or man is cute. It is not because they have a nice shape or whatever else. It is because it is abnormal for a woman or man to run outside naked. It is something that we are not supposed to do. So whether you are attracted to that man or woman, just seeing a man or woman run outside naked, that is abnormal. So that right there is going to catch the attention of many. I pray that this makes sense. So let's go to Matthew 5 and 28. And I am going to go more on what I just said. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman or man to lust after her or him hath committed adultery with her or him already in his or her heart. So let me read it straight. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her in his heart. What is adultery? having sex with someone that is married that you are not married with, basically. So let's say that you see a woman and she is really pretty or whatever else and you start to think in your mind like, hey, I wonder how it would feel to blah, blah, blah or I bet I could blah, blah, blah with her so on and so on. Sexual thinking with that woman or about that woman. So the thoughts by itself, you have committed adultery already. So thinking about sex with another person is the same thing as actually doing it. So let me speak on women and men showing their body parts. Let me start with men. Men, taking your shirts off and walking. Let's say that you have a really nice body and let's say that you got this six pack going on and you have nice biceps and triceps and stuff like that. And you go around with some women, you may put them in lust. There are women, look, my main point is, don't show your body parts as if you are in the bedroom. Why not wear clothes that are modest? Dress modestly. You don't have to walk around with your shirt off. Now, I know that many guys do this and it's like an average thing now for guys to walk around with their shirts off or wear clothes that really may entice a woman to fall into lust. 
we have to understand that there are demons out there. Demons want us to fall into sin. Why? Because they want us to go to hell. So when you walk around halfway dressed, putting people in lust, what are you doing? Ultimately, you are you can say that you are working for demons. So men, you can dress modest. Put on a shirt. You don't have to wear really tight fitting jeans that shows different body parts, your behind or your front part and stuff like that. You don't have to wear anything that expose those areas. I know that you may say, well, if it puts women into lust, they should not look. No. We are on this earth for everyone, not for ourselves. We can't be selfish thinking. Wear modest clothing. Why would you have to wear things that shows certain body parts like your front part or your behind and stuff like that why would you have to do that obviously the reasoning for it is not pure attention seeking attention seeking women and I know that mostly many women do this. I was going to say all, but all women don't do this. Women, you don't have to wear clothes that expose your breast and wearing really tight clothes or clothing that exposes your belly area. Like I said before, demons use this to place people in lust. You may say that it is not a big deal and stuff like that. That is because you are not close with God. Chances are you are not close with God. Because if you were, you would quickly change your clothes. You are placing women or yes men and women in lust now if you are wearing modest clothes you are not at trying to expose your chest or your body parts men and women and a person just lust after you that is one thing but if you are out there trying to expose body parts like for women your breasts wearing shirts that expose your breast, pants that are really skin tight that makes your behind poke out more, jeans that make your thighs look a certain way and stuff like that, trying to appeal, keyword, appeal more to men or women, that is wrong. You are placing people in lust, dress modestly what is wrong with dressing in a modest way we don't want to do anything that is going to get another person into spiritual trouble we don't want that i am not saying that i dress so good and stuff like that like i said i wear sweatpants and a regular shirt as you can see in a hoodie right here you know I am not saying that I dress the best but I don't wear anything that expose my body parts I don't go outside wear some wearing some tight uh, shorts or something that exposes my private part that would be crazy give me a second I know many people are going to say, well, if it puts them into lust, they should not look. 
that is not how this world works. This is not how the Bible works. We do what we have to do to help the other person out. And usually when a person is exposing their body parts, they are doing it for a bad reason. They are doing it for the wrong reasons. Trying to attract the attention from the same sex or the opposite sex in a bad way. If you are a woman and you may say, well, this is how I attract men. If you say that you have to expose your body to attract men, that is bad. That is bad. So you have to attract men in a sexual way to attract a man. Or as a guy, you may say, well, I have to have my shirt off. I have to wear like these tight shorts that shows the imprint of my front part and my behind and stuff like that in order for women to be attracted to me. You are doing things in the wrong reasons. Dress modestly. There is nothing wrong with that. You are placing people in lust. Think about this. We know that there are witches out there, right? And some people may say, well, you know, you are crazy, Kevin. I don't think witches really have power and stuff like that. There are witches out there. Witches, whether you are a white witch or a dark witch or black witch, whatever they call them, you still get your power from demons. Either way you are still getting your power from demons. So they are working for demons. What do you think <clears throat> they are doing to other humans? They are putting humans in some way or other, they are placing humans, getting other humans or influencing other humans to sin against God. So when you walk outside, women, wearing these shirts or these tight bras or those bras that pick up your breast and stuff like that, wearing these pants that expose your behind really tight and stuff like that, these leggings and yoga pants and stuff like that, when you wear those types of clothes, You have to know that you are placing people in lust. Not only men, but women as well. It is not right. The way that we live our lives is a larger ministry than what we say. The way that we live our lives is a larger ministry than what we say. So what am I trying to say? People are noticing, are learning from us by how we live quicker than what we say. I pray that this makes sense. So when you out there wearing for guys walking around with no shirt on, wearing these tight shorts or tight jeans that expose body parts and stuff like that. When you are doing that, women, when you are exposing your breast and your behind and wearing these tight jeans thinking you are really cute and stuff like that, what you are doing, you are ministering to people things of Satan whether you know that or not. 
Like I said, what if a woman ran outside naked in front of people? She could say the same thing. Hey, if you are going to get in lust, don't look. But people are going to look. Why? <clears throat> because it is abnormal to see a woman run outside naked. People are going to look because it is a shocking thing. Wearing these certain type of clothes are very shocking. Like, wow, what is going on? Like a person is not supposed to wear these types of clothes outside. Lust. Lust is huge. Don't do it. If you know that people are weak toward certain things, let's say that you are a Christian woman and you dress in that way. Let's say that you believe that you are a Christian woman and you know that most men are going to look at you when you halfway dress. And you know that lust is a sin, right? Why would you go and do something that is going to tempt most men into sin? So when you do it, you know what you are doing and it's wrong. So you are ministering to these men and women things of demons. So you are, yes, so you are pretty much in a way responsible ministry. If I go out and I teach people about God and five people get saved, I am, yes, it is God that saves them, but I am sowing seeds. So I get credit for getting those people saved because I taught the word to them. Okay. If you go out, if you go out knowing that you are going to place people in lust, dressing in this seductive way, which you know, and if you get people to sin, won't you be responsible for getting those people to sin as well? Yes, you would. Because you know what you are doing is wrong. At least now you know it. Same things with guys. Guy know, guys know what they are doing. I used to dress in a certain way as well, which would attract women. Not only attract, but I would do things. Back when I was in sin, I would do things and dress in a certain way, per se, Let's say that I would do things to put women, women into lust. So since I did that, guess what? I would receive credit for putting those women into lust. Why? Because I knew if I would say certain things or do certain things, I can get them into lust. So them getting into lust is partially my fault. When you know dressing like that is going to put men or women into lust, it is partially your fault. So you are ministering to, win, to men and women things that are not of God. I pray that this makes sense. Some people may say that, well, the reason why I dress like this is because I want to feel sexy. Are you listening to what you are saying? Sexy? Not cute. You are not only trying to look cute, 
which is nothing wrong with that. Looking cute, that is not a bad thing. But you don't have to expose your body parts to look cute. Hey, Kevin, I have to show my breast to look cute. That does not make any sense. If you are truly living for God, you are going to have a problem exposing your body. If you don't, that shows you how much far away from God you really are. If you are comfortable with exposing your body, I'm serious, and I am not trying to offend anyone. We can't stay ignorant to the sinful things that we are doing, that many people are doing. You are placing people into lust. Well, they just should not look. That is evil. Knowing that you are doing wrong and saying that they should not look, that is evil. That is evil. Why would you be doing something wrong in the first place when you know that it is wrong? If you really want, now, if you are atheist or whatever else, hey, do whatever you want to do. But if you call yourself a Christian, a person who serves God, you, ha you have to change this. You have to change this. There is no other way around this. If sinful women are exposing their breast, if you are a Christian woman, how can you do the same? There has to be a difference. If Christian men or if sinful men are taking their shirts off wearing these exposing shorts and jeans and stuff like that. If you are a Christian man, you can't do the same. There has to be a difference. There have to be a difference. Christian women don't expose their bodies because they would have a problem with that. I just want to feel sexy, Kevin. What does the Bible say? Thou shalt feel sexy on these days? No. You can still look cute and wear nice clothes. You can still look cute and not wear tight-fitting clothes. You can still look cute and not wear clothes that expose your body, where does this paradigm come from where you have to show your body to be cute? Or you have to expose your body to look handsome? Makes no sense. That is demonic. Hey, in order to look cute, you have to wear this very short skirt or these really tight jeans and you have to show a lot of skin in order to be cute or handsome. That is demonic. It only takes one look to get a person in sin. There are some people who may be trying to live for God. But if they constantly, let's say that they are going to church and there are women at church dressed like this. We don't want demons to use us to get other people into sin. I pray that this makes sense. The way, I am not saying that you have to wear these expensive clothes, like these designer clothes and stuff like that. Cover up. That is all I am saying. You can wear really old clothes as long as you are covered up. That is all that matters. You don't have to wear brand new clothes and stuff like that. I don't. 
I actually gave away much of my clothes because I'm not really big in dressing up and stuff like that. Stop exposing your body. You are doing it for the wrong reasons. You are seeking for the wrong attention. Yes, you are seeking for the wrong attention. Like I said, the way that we live our lives is a ministry. You are either pushing people toward God or you are pushing people away from God. Humans are easily influenced. I don't care how tough or strong you say that you are, you are easily influenced. If you say that you are for God, you have to change this. You have to change this. Do you believe, let me say this, man, my Lord. Do you believe that you will go to heaven and God is going to allow you to wear shirts that expose your breast? You believe that God is going to allow you to wear a dress that shows all the way up your thighs and showing thongs and stuff like that? You believe that God is going to allow you in heaven dressed like that? No, he won't. Same things with guys. You think that God is going to allow you to walk around with your shirts off and wearing these tight fitting jeans, trying to show the imprint of your private part and your behind and stuff like that? Do you believe that God is going to allow that? He isn't. So why would you believe that it is okay to do it on earth if he is not going to allow it in heaven? Oh, Kevin, you are just being too strict. No. If you have to expose your body to get attention, that speaks poorly on you. What type of self-esteem issue do you have? When you feel the need to expose your body to get attention, that is a trap. Hey Kevin, I have to expose my body to get these male attentions because when I was younger, you know, my father was not there, my mother did not show me attention, so I have to do it the way that I have to. That shows an issue, a problem that you need to change. You need healing. You can't say that it is right because obviously you know that it is not right. You are placing people in lust. You are ministering to people with things of lust. So you are going to sow what you reap. This is one of many reasons why bad things continue to happen to you. Because of your ministry. Man, I pray that this makes sense. God bless.